Um, my name is Natalie, and tonight I will be, um, be I will be talking about Megan's law and problems, not the problems, sorry, but specifically things by my opponent, opponent Kevin. Um, as we all know, Megan's law was created by Megan Kemper, uh, she was inspired by murder, and she was sexual offender. Um, Megan Kemper was sexually abused by her boyfriend, Kevin, and she was sexually abused by her boyfriend, Kevin, and she was sexually abused by her boyfriend, Kevin, and she was sexually abused by her boyfriend, Kevin, and she was sexually abused by her boyfriend, Kevin, and she was sexually abused by her boyfriend, Kevin, and she was sexually abused by her boyfriend, Kevin, and she was sexually abused by her boyfriend, Kevin, and she was sexually abused by her boyfriend, Kevin, and she was sexually abused by her boyfriend, Kevin, and she was sexually abused by her boyfriend, Winston in '96. It was, it was in effect in '96, and stating from one of his evidence, it was stated from Jake Goldenfield from CBS News, an interview with him. He um, stated, "Megan's law is a good law because the public has the right to know who we are." He says, "Megan's law is not there to keep me from reoffending. Megan's law is there so that." You can keep me from reoffending by knowing who I am and keeping your eyes on me. So, from the same person that Kevin quoted, this man is saying that Megan Thought has created good, but also not all, not all, not all things are monitored by Megan Thought. Well. Um, When Megan Ball was created, it was to protect the children and to have sex and from reoffending. And in continuation of Megan's law, other laws have been created. An example, Drew's law, Jessica's law, Adam Walsh's protection law has been created. Um, part of the Adam Walsh's law that most recently was in 2006 by President Bush. And this is an evidence taken from Salvina Karen. She states, while states have consistently amended the Megan's Law legislation to address new issues that arise every day in regard to sex offenders in the community, a federal government has also regularly amended the Weddling Act to reflect the trends and development in state registration programs. The most recent amendment was signed into effect into law on July 27th of 2006 by President George W. Bush enacted the Adam Walsh for Child Protection and Safety Act of 2006, AWA, which established a new office entitled the Sentencing, Monitoring of Apprehension, Registration Tracking Office, also known as SMART. SMART's mission statement is to assure that convicted sex offenders are prohibited from preying on citizens through a system of appropriate restrictions, regulations, and internal <coughs> So I knew I was created in effect because of Megan's law. So the punishment and the protection of children is becoming a more important issue. Um, an article from Good Housekeeping, um, what are the basic requirements of the law? It was a question, what are the basic requirements of law? And in almost every state, only information about level three is available to the public, and each community can handle notifications differently. Some countries release, some counties release names and photos only on the web. Some have to have a book of names at police stations. In other areas, police will go door to door or hold a town meeting. Others will put up posters at the post office. In some jurisdictions, in Louisiana, for example, the offender must, a vendor must personally go door to door and tell neighbors that he is a sex offender. The, um, the inherent complaint stated by my opponent that details in Megan's law differ among states. And the claim was the current law fails to protect, fails to keep sex offenders away from children. Um, an example from one of Florida's um, sex offender laws was spurred by the killing of a nine-year-old girl. Governor Jeff Bush on Monday signed a law imposing a tougher penalty on child molesters and requiring many of those released from prison to wear saddle white devices for the rest of their lives. This measure gives Florida one of the toughest child sex laws in the nation. So, the current law, the current law that some current laws in the past may have failed, but new laws are being created to um, 
and she said that that is away from children. Um, and going back to Megan's law and what created Jane Adam Walsh's law, the stated purpose of Adam Walsh's Child Protection and Safety Act of 2006 is to protect the public and in particular children from violent sex offenders via a more comprehensive national system for registration of sex offenders. And one of the sections that I found most interesting was <coughs> Section 1, Title 1, Sex Offender Registration and Notification Act, definitions including a three-tier three sex offender classification, one that Kevin said that he, they would need to have more specific details to create, tier, to modify the three-tier level. And Section 1, 112, states must establish a statewide sex offender registry that conforms to federal standards and the Attorney General will issue guidelines and regulations interpreting the federal law. So going from the federal law to the state law, Megan's law in continuation with Adam, Adam Walsh's law will create um, a, a better law for protecting children from sex offenders. Thank you.